Hey y'all, I just did a little um, body groove workout. Um, I really like it. It's awesome. Um, there's a whole thing of DVDs about, you know, of them on internet somewhere, I'm guessing. Anyway, I, uh, let me turn the light on. Woo. And um, I just did some right here in my living room. I actually uh, pulled it up on YouTube and uh, worked out a little bit. It was fun. I love to dance. Love to dance. Um, actually pretty good at it, but I um, had a good time doing it. Um, my knees bother me, my right knees bother me a little bit today, so i um, going to have to keep an eye on that. And I need to um, maybe put my knee brace on just my little, you know, thing for my knee um because she does do um it's not real in high impact because i can't do that i mean i i can't do that she does a lot of sliding and side to side and um she's she's really cool uh her name is misty tripoli and um she grew up uh dancing and um teaching aerobics and all kinds of stuff um she tells her story that she had bulimia and uh sorry y'all excuse me and it's uh it's pretty crazy it's like she kind of had to learn to just um love herself the way she was and uh she said that when she did that she just she let loose and she started um, dancing for herself. And she just, oh, I'm sorry, I'm rocking back and forth, probably making you dizzy. Sorry. Um, she um, started dancing for herself and she just had a really good time with it. And she said when she did that, the stress melted away. And the weight that she was trying to lose when she was bulimic just like fell off. Because at that point, she decided, you know, I'm not going to stress myself anymore. And uh, stress was making her sick and making her overweight. And she's beautiful, y'all. She's beautiful. But um, she said she just wanted to come into her more authentic self, which I think is something that um, kind of a movement right now. I know it's what I want to do. I want to find my authentic self. I kind of think I'm working in that direction. Um, you know, it's just be you, your warts and all, and love yourself for it, no matter, no matter what. Um, that video I made the other night was kind of like about that. Me learning to love myself and like myself and do things for my health and my, not to be, um, selfish and not take care of my family. I mean, my kids are almost, you know, pretty much grown. And, uh, but just take care of ourselves because, you know, it's been the same for a long time. If you don't take good care of yourself, then there's nothing left to take care of your family. Um, take care of the things that you really, you know, you really have to do. Just part of life stuff. Pay bills, work, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm, you know, like I said the other night, I'm 55 years old. And I'm just really trying to, and I keep getting bad angles, um, just really trying to do this for me, y'all. I mean, if I don't get any subscribers on this channel, anything else, I'll just go back and watch these videos myself, you know. But um, I just wanted to do this. I may end up buying these videos. I, I just, we have a Apple TV. Um, so you can go in and pull up YouTube and all that. And I just, I just put in body groove. I mean, if you want to look at it on your phone, your tablet, your computer, whatever, put it somewhere and, um, push the couch back, push the little furniture out of the way if you can and move your body. Y'all, it is so fun. I have worked up a little sweat now and my heart's beating a little bit, but you know what? It feels fun. I'm not stressed out. It was fun, fun. So let me switch hands because my hands get kind of, okay. 
but y'all do something fun. If you love to dance, dance. I was um, sedentary for many years. Um, you know, well, off and on for many years. And uh, I just promised myself this summer I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that this summer. Yeah, I'm going to sit around and rest a little bit, but you know what? It's time to take care of me. Like I said, I've pretty much raised my children, although they're still at home. Um, but you know, we're working on that too. But um, you've got to take care of you. You know, especially if you're the female in the family, nobody's going to take care of you better than you. So you take care of you. You do what you need to take care of yourself, you know? Um, this uh, doing the keto way of eating, way of life for me has been, I'm sorry, I'm still swaying and probably making y'all sick, I'm sorry. Um, I can't be still, because, you know, now I'm all hyped up. But um, this way of eating has done so much for me. It has done so much for me. It's lifted the fog. It's is done so much for me. I, I don't want to start crying like I did in yesterday's video. But anyway, it has done so much for me in more aspects than just weight loss. Y'all, my body feels better. I could have, eight months ago, I couldn't have more have gotten up and done body groove to save my life. I couldn't have done it because everything would have hurt. I probably would have fallen and hurt myself, but I didn't this time. You know, I, I've lost 50 pounds and I have more weight to lose and I don't know how much more I'm going to lose, but I'm going to keep doing this. Um, let y'all in on a little secret. Kind of, sort of. It's not a secret now. It's on YouTube. But anyway, okay, so my two children, my two 20-somethings, in the last couple of weeks have both had birthdays. And uh, my son and I went grocery shopping the other day and... Um, we decided, you know, I, for a long time, and it's probably terrible, but I celebrate. We, we did their parties together because they're, they are actually, they only lack two weeks being two years apart. They're not quite two years apart. Sorry, my nose itches. Anyway, so... I, you know, we did birthday parties together. We didn't have money to do a bunch of, how to do this, do a bunch of separate parties um, when they were growing up. We just didn't have the money to do it. And their birthdays are so close together that we celebrated birthdays together. So when we went to the grocery store the other day, my husband suggested, why don't we get a cake? So I got a cake and I um, got it at Kroger's. Anyway, it's one of those, it's really, um, it's a it's a cake but it's one fourth of a four different cakes that they've you know a round big round double layered cake that they put together they just put these little cardboard things in between to kind of separate them but anyway i stayed up too late last night like i have the habit of doing this summer and i went in there and i poured i mean i poured i cut me a little slice of one of those cakes just a very small slice. I mean it was y'all y'all could see through it it was so small and uh, but you know what I this morning I felt like you know what um my stomach sorry my stomach my stomach was upset um, just feel bad. And the pain in my right knee that I just complained about a while ago is probably part of that. Cause you know, it was cake. So it had flour in it. It had sugar in it. It had God only knows what else in it. And, uh, and I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Um, uh, need to learn my lesson. Sometimes I guess I just need little reminders like that to tell me you can't girl, you can't do that. You can't do that. You've gotten away from it. You've found out what affects your body. And, um, I don't have much makeup, sorry. What affects your body. And, 
I know that affects my body and I don't know if it was the flour or the sugar or if it was both. I do happen to know that flour kind of messes with me a little bit. Um, I have to hold my other hand to hold my hand up. Um, my arm, my shoulder's getting tired. So I'm, I'm not gonna make this much longer. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to get on here and tell you about Body Groove. Um, I've seen it on Facebook probably for the last year. And uh, I got up and did a little bit here and there, but I did about four or five in a row. And I am pumped now. Um, I feel good. I, like I said, I've always loved to dance. I never did any formal dancing. I took a little bit of dance, you know, back in high school or middle school or whatever, but um, I loved going out to the clubs and dancing. Um, so I love to dance. I love, I just love it. I love it, you know? Luckily, I have some rhythm and I'm, I'm, I do pretty good, you know? Um, but it felt so good. I mean, sometimes just when I'm stressed out, oh, bored, I've even been known to, you know, pull out my phone, love Prince. Prince is my favorite artist of all time. Um, Housequake's my favorite song of all time, um, which is by Prince, if you don't know that. Um, anyway, love that song. I love that song. And, uh... I played it several times in the car going to Austin, you know, last week, and um, just love it. I love, I love all that stuff. I, you know, I love some slow songs too, but I love anything that I can get up and dance to, y'all. And I will dance like a fool. Love to dance. I love to dance. Um, I just love it. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm still swaying. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to make this short because I know I made the one yesterday way too long and it took forever to upload. So, y'all have a good day. Try to get it move your body. If you can't move your legs, move the upper half of your body. Move your arms. Move something. But don't sit for hours on end like I used to do. I could sit down and watch, sit down and pull up a show and binge watch almost a whole season of episodes of a show in one sitting and not move. And then I wanted to bite somebody's head off when they got home and, you know, they wanted the TV. I just, I sat and sat and sat and sat and sat and I can't do that anymore. Um, so I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to get up and move. And uh, whether it's, Leslie Sansom, walk away the pounds, um, lift in a little bit of weights, which I do like to lift weights. I would do a little bodybuilding in college. Um, but I, more than anything, you know what? You know what I love to do? I love to dance. Love to dance. And I'm going to do it more. I'm going to do it more. Um, I may put my knee brace on, like I said earlier, but I'm going to do it more. By golly, I'm going to do it more because I love it. And it makes me feel good. And it makes me feel alive. And ha, who doesn't like to feel alive? Um, I, you know, I felt dead for a long time. I want to feel alive again, so I'm going to. Girl, I'm going to do it. I put me a little, you know, little ghetto up in there. Anyway... As I get more comfortable with this, y'all are going to see more of me being silly and being, you know, like I'm from the hood or something. I don't know. Y'all might even get to see me dance someday if I get brave enough. <sighs> this camera thing, y'all. I, If you didn't know me, if you truly knew me, you would know this camera thing is a big, big deal. So, like I said, if I, if nobody ever sees this and all I do is this for me, it's worth it. Sorry, I keep going. Um, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it because I'm kind of staying accountable to myself. And uh, if I get a few subscribers, that's great. You know, if I become a YouTube person, that's fine too. 
if I don't get anybody, that's fine too. You know, but it gives me something to go back and watch and say, you know what, I remember when I felt like that that day. Anyway, I'm up on 15 minutes, y'all, and I have got to go. Because you know what, I still hadn't tackled the mail thing that I said I was going to do yesterday. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of that done, just even if only a little bit, you know, a little bit. So anyway, y'all have a good one. Ha try to have a good weekend. I don't know if I'm going to... um film or video or whatever you call it this weekend um usually my family's around and i don't like to do all this in front of them but anyway um i love y'all even if i'm just talking to myself i love you and um y'all have a great weekend and um i may do some more next week um anyway just remember hugs let me say this hug somebody today tell somebody you love them today and keto on y'all it's what it's all about catch you later bye